Hello, what's the secret for today? China has unveiled a mega engineering marvel straight out of science fiction, a massive system that lifts entire ships over mountains. But why build such an audacious structure? What strategic advantage does it offer? Let's explore. In a world striving toward energy independence, China has established itself as a leader, not just in hydropower generation, but in the scale and ambition of its projects. Today, nearly one-third of the world's installed hydropower capacity originates from a single country, not the United States or Europe, but China. Take the Baihedin Dam, for example, one of the largest power stations ever constructed. Its output reaches approximately 1 million kilowatts, enough to supply electricity to millions of households. Yet even this engineering feat ranks behind the Three Gorges Dam, which is currently the largest of its kind globally. Notably, the world's top five hydropower stations are located in China. But the story goes beyond capacity into the realm of design and ingenuity. Located in Guizhou province, the Gupitan Dam does more than hold back a river. It challenges traditional engineering norms. At 232.5 meters high, it stands as a landmark of modern infrastructure. Its most fascinating feature? A ship lift capable of raising fully loaded vessels nearly 200 meters, a true mechanical marvel. To visualize that, it's taller than the Statue of Liberty or the Great Pyramid of Giza. Imagine lifting a ship the height of a 66-story building, an extraordinary feat of design and execution. The Gupitan project isn't just massive, it's visionary. It reflects a commitment to addressing challenges with precision, planning, and purpose. It's a reminder that innovation often begins with bold ideas and meticulous execution. So how does this ship lift operate? First, a 500-ton vessel enters a massive ship carrying chamber measuring 40 meters in length and 12 meters in width. The chamber is filled with water to create a moving waterway. It is guided by 256 steel cables and raised or lowered vertically using a gear rack climbing system. Each stage takes about 30 minutes. To complete the journey, the ship ascends through three levels of the lift, totaling approximately two and a half hours, a process that shortens the voyage by four days compared to navigating traditional winding mountain routes. Employing a world-first gear rack and nut column safety system capable of withstanding an eight-level earthquake, as well as strong wind and wave conditions, the lift maintains operational precision within plus or minus 10 millimeters. This ensures that thousand-ton class vessels can pass safely and efficiently through the mountainous terrain. According to a report by China Daily, the lift system has undergone rigorous testing under simulated seismic conditions, successfully passing stress evaluations that reflect real-world disaster scenarios. This level of resilience highlights its role not only in safety but also in ensuring long-term reliability for inland transportation infrastructure. And here's where it gets more interesting. Every ship that bypasses the once challenging rapids not only saves time, it also contributes to a broader transformation. The rise of inland trade routes up, the development of a high-capacity logistics network, and the continued strengthening of regional economic connectivity in China's central provinces. But this isn't just about technology, it's about transformation. What does this lift mean for China's economy, its people, and even the global logistics landscape? Before exploring, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening. If you can help me in any way, just hit the notification bell and hit that subscribe button. It helps this channel so much. And if you do that, I will do everything I can to make this show even better for you. Deal? The Gupitan ship lift doesn't just raise ships, it opens new possibilities. What once took four days of navigating winding mountain rivers now takes just two and a half hours. That kind of transformation isn't just convenient, it's impactful. With the lift now operational, the Wujiang River has become a fully navigable route, linking China's remote Gushu province to the Yangtze River, and through it, passed to the broader global shipping network. In short, this single corridor has become what officials and engineers describe as a golden waterway, a logistics line with the potential to influence trade patterns across inland China. According to figures reported by Xinhua News Agency, the ship lift has increased regional freight capacity to 5 million tons per year. But numbers alone don't capture the full picture. The true impact of this project lies in its effect on communities. 
Imagine a farmer in a mountain village who once relied on narrow, dangerous roads and costly trucking to transport goods. Now with the lift and canal system in place, the same produce can be shipped downstream, reaching cities like Chongqing or even Shanghai more efficiently and cost-effectively. Trade accelerates, prices stabilize, livelihoods improve. This is how infrastructure reshapes lives. Entire villages that were once isolated are now connected to larger urban centers. Families can travel more safely, avoiding treacherous mountain routes. A region once seen as too remote for robust development is opening to new opportunities. This transformation is already visible in the central Gizhou economic zone, where logistics companies are expanding and new trade hubs are emerging. From a distance, the ship lift might appear as a steel structure with cables. But up close, it represents a technological milestone. Inside, a 500-ton vessel enters what resembles a vertical hangar. The cables engage. Gearboxes hum. Within 10 minutes, the ship is lifted 72 meters. At full operational range, depending on water levels, the lift can reach up to 200 meters, the height of a 66-story building. As the International Shipping Association noted, the system has redefined the possibilities of inland navigation. It's a major engineering achievement that showcases how modern infrastructure can solve complex logistical challenges. Sounds impressive already? Wait until you discover how engineers took it one step further by building not just one, but three colossal lifts across treacherous terrain. Of course, such recognition is open to interpretation, as ship lifts have been implemented in various parts of the world for some time. However, what sets this system apart is that it comprises not just one elevator, but three. After the first lift, a second elevator raises vessels to a height of approximately 130 meters. Its operating principle is straightforward. The ship enters, waits for the system to activate, and is then raised in its entirety. With the Gupatan Dam's lift system, the water surface of the shipping channel is elevated to around 199 meters, a notable engineering achievement. For comparison, this lift height is equivalent to a 66-story building. The Great Pyramid of Giza reaches a height of about 139 meters, and the Statue of Liberty stands at 93 meters, making this lift one of the tallest of its kind globally. Under normal circumstances, a river with such a dramatic elevation change would be non-navigable. However, through advanced engineering methods, this lift system has enabled continuous vessel passage through mountainous terrain. The design is notable not only for its scale but also for its structural integration in a complex environment. Once a ship passes through two of the elevators, it must descend to reach the downstream water level. To accomplish this, a third elevator is located at the end of the route, capable of lowering vessels up to 47 meters, depending on water levels. While the system is innovative, its throughput is limited, it accommodates only one vessel at a time, which may lead to delays during periods of high traffic. Nonetheless, the design includes mechanisms to optimize flow. As soon as one ship completes its ascent or descent, the next vessel can begin the process, helping to reduce wait times. Though not without limitations, the engineers have made significant efforts to streamline transport through this unique elevation corridor. With its combination of three vertical lifts and connecting waterways, the system effectively manages multi-level elevation changes, a practical alternative to traditional lock-based systems particularly in mountainous regions. Initially, there was no river beneath the elevator system at all. In addition to constructing the three elevators, another major task had to be undertaken, building a connecting passage between them. Ultimately, the main link between the two elevators and the surrounding mountain terrain was developed as an open water conduit. While the concept of building such passages is not new, ancient engineers accomplished similar feats without modern machinery. This project presented unique challenges. In this case, integrating a functional waterway system within rugged mountain terrain, alongside a complex elevator structure, significantly increased the difficulty. Nevertheless, the project team successfully addressed these engineering challenges and completed a second route across the mountain. This was made possible in part due to China's extensive experience in tunnel construction, utilizing advanced tunnel boring machines to carry out excavations efficiently and according to plan. With such complexity and scale, you might be wondering how much did it all cost and why was this immense investment justified? 
As a result, a mountain transport route extending 2.3 kilometers was developed. The entire project required an investment of approximately 7.8 billion US dollars, and it is this ship lift system that enables vessels to traverse some of the region's most challenging terrain. If a more conventional lock system had been used, each vessel would likely have encountered greater technical and logistical challenges during its journey. This water conduit and elevator system was constructed specifically because of the location of the Gupatan Dam. The ship lift is one of the key support components of the dam's infrastructure. While the Gupatan Dam and its hydropower station may appear modest in scale compared to some larger international projects, what stands out is the navigation system which allows vessels to bypass mountainous elevations with high efficiency. This brings up an important question. Why was such a large-scale investment, demanding extensive resources and coordination, deemed necessary, especially when the physical scale of the project might not seem exceptional at first glance? To answer this, it's important to consider the dam setting. The surrounding area is narrow and environmentally complex, making a traditional lock-based system impractical. Following the dam's completion, Chinese engineers carried out extensive planning and design. Like all dams, the Gupatan structure creates a water level difference between the upstream and downstream sections. In this particular case, the elevation gap was so large that a single ship lift was not feasible, as such an approach would have been inefficient and potentially unsafe. Thus, Constructing both the dam and its associated ship lift system became a practical solution for developing regional energy resources and creating a viable water transport corridor. As a result, Guizhou province implemented the Gupatan hydropower station and its lift system, which now supports an annual cargo throughput capacity of approximately 2.9 billion tons. While alternatives like semi-trailers and rail cars are viable in some settings, they are less efficient under these specific geographic constraints. For example, a standard truck typically carries around 23 tons, whereas the Gupatan ship lift can accommodate a 500-ton vessel, and even larger barges in some cases. A single barge can replace dozens of trucks in terms of load. In mountainous regions like Guizhou, building wide roads suitable for high volumes of trucks and tourist vehicles presents substantial engineering challenges. Allowing freight trucks to navigate narrow roads and bridges also raises safety considerations water transport provides a more fuel-efficient and scalable solution. Railways, while generally effective, face similar construction and efficiency hurdles in this terrain, particularly in comparison to water-based freight systems. If this shiplifting giant blew your mind, imagine what China's building next. Like subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss what's rising on the horizon. The results. Let's look at how this futuristic lift is being recognized on the world stage and what it tells us about China's rising engineering prowess. Despite many challenges, the Gupatan ship lift was completed through significant investment. It enables vessels to pass through mountainous terrain, an impressive example of modern engineering. The lift is capable of raising ships weighing up to 10,000 tons, a scale rarely seen in similar systems. The project has attracted international attention. Some online users described it as a world-class aquatic viaduct and praised its design. Others commented on the cost efficiency of the project, noting that it was completed at less than half the cost of a single naval vessel. Many were impressed by the speed and coordination involved in its construction. This is not the only example of large-scale hydraulic engineering. At the Three Gorges Dam, a similar lift can raise ships weighing up to 3,000 tons in approximately 40 minutes. The chamber measures 122 meters in length and more than 18 meters in width. It holds as much water as four Olympic swimming pools and lifts vessels over 113 meters in height. Safety was a top priority. Engineers implemented four drive systems at each corner of the chamber to maintain stability. Shock absorbers were added to reduce vibration during emergencies such as earthquakes. The structure is supported by multiple pillars that help distribute seismic forces, reducing the risk of structural failure. Since becoming operational, the Three Gorges lock systems have seen strong performance. In the first half of 2024, the locks handled over 100 million tons of cargo, a new record. The dam also features two five-stage locks beside the ship lift. 
These take approximately four hours to move a vessel, compared to 40 minutes via the lift. Because the Yangtze River is a key transportation route, minimizing delays is important. New lock systems are being developed to improve efficiency. Even with the current four-hour transit time, the dam processed 180 million tons of cargo in 2024, far exceeding the initial estimate of 100 million. But is this just a one-off spectacle or part of something much bigger? What does this project say about China's long-term vision for global infrastructure? China continues to take on large-scale engineering challenges using advanced construction methods and innovative techniques. Its rapid development in infrastructure has gained international attention. In addition to domestic projects, Chinese companies have also participated in infrastructure development across multiple countries, reflecting broader efforts to support modernization and connectivity. This progress is supported by years of technological advancement and the contributions of engineers over several generations. Their work has helped shape the modern landscape of China's cities and transportation networks. Looking ahead, Chinese-led infrastructure projects are expected to play a role in supporting development in other regions, particularly in areas where modern transportation and energy systems are still emerging. These efforts contribute to global infrastructure growth and create new opportunities for collaboration. Each bridge, road, and project helps connect urban and rural communities, improves accessibility, and fosters greater regional integration. China's infrastructure initiatives have contributed significantly to domestic development and have also influenced broader international cooperation in construction and engineering. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks for being with us. Leave a comment, like to show your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos. See you next time.